hope you're all well. So today I am doing part two of my winter capsule wardrobe series. So I posted part one like two weeks ago now, and that was basically planning, explaining why I'm doing it a little bit earlier than I normally do, and basically just going through, and I worked out five pieces. I was like, yes, I need to have these in my capsule wardrobe for winter. They're definitely gaps that I need to fill. And I just love doing that process because I feel like it makes me really think about things and not add items into my wardrobe that next season I'm going to be like, oh, why the hell did I buy that? That was so silly. So I feel like definitely watch that video because you can get an idea of the processes that I use, the little like mini experiments that I do to get my list together. But today I thought I would show you the items that I have actually added to my winter capsule wardrobe. And also there were a couple of things I ordered and just didn't go right. So I've tried those on for you as well and I'm going to include clips of those. So this is like the whole process, what I ordered, what was good, what was pants and went back. And then also a couple of things that I think I just need to accept don't suit me, even though I had them on the list and I've given them a go, it's time for me to move on. There was one item that was so easy peasy when I realised I wanted a black silk shirt. I already knew what black silk shirt I wanted, I ordered it, it fits, it's perfect, I love it. It is from Cezanne and this is just their boy shirt, it's a silk shirt, looks very, very similar to the equipment shirts a very similar feel, the pockets are the same. If you fancy a good dupe for those, I would definitely recommend this, because it's very similar, but like a fourth of the price. It's still pricey for High Street, but it's silk, it's a good quality item, and like the little details on it, it's got gorgeous little buttons that have like a little rose gold pin in the middle, so it's just got nice detail. I was really impressed with this, and the Cezanne shopping experience was good as well. It didn't take too long to arrive, it kind of came quite quickly, and yeah, I'm really happy with this. I feel like it's something, I mean, it's a black silk shirt, I'm gonna get a lot of wear off this. This is definitely a good purchase. Look at this. I mean, this could be an equipment shirt, right? It's got like the pocket there. I wanna show you the buttons. Look at those, they're very cute, like detailed buttons. But I like it, it just fits nicely. It's very thin, so it's very easy to tuck in if you want to, but also it's a nice length it kind of comes to. If you did wanna wear it long, it kind of goes, it like skims the bum, which is quite nice, because if you had like tight leggings or kind of leather leggings underneath it, it would skim quite nicely over that. But yeah, love this, want to pick it up in a different colour. The other thing that was quite easy to find were jeans with a hem. I mentioned how I've got a load of pairs of these. These are the Topshop Motto Straight Leg Raw Hem. Yeah, that's it. If you search for that on Topshop, you will find those jeans and I absolutely love them. I have them in four different washes and I wear them just on repeat. But in the video I did mention how they're just like a little bit cropped a little bit too short because they do have that raw hem. I needed something a little bit longer that wouldn't leave my ankles too chilly. And these are great. They're from Under the Stories. I can't remember the name of them, but I'll make sure they're linked down below for you. And they do come in different washes as well. I just got this kind of medium blue wash because out of the Topshop ones, this is the wash that I get the most wear out of. So I thought, you know what? I'm having like a bit of a kind of blue jean moment, so I'll get another pair. I'm really impressed with these. They're a little bit skinnier than the Topshop ones, but they're still straight leg. They're still very flattering. I picked these up in a 28. I probably could have gone for a 27. They're quite stretchy. There's a lot of give in these, but they're very, very comfortable. And I just think they look they're like a nice silhouette and they're not too long. They're still slightly cropped, but not so cropped that my ankle is just like getting a gale blown off the hem. So it's quite nice. I feel like these are going to keep me a little bit toastier in the winter. Just a little bit. So like I said, they're a little bit more skinny than the Topshop ones. Like you can see at the bottom, there's not as much of a flare and they're just the right length that there's not so much ankle. I mean, there's a little bit of ankle still, but it's literally a couple of millimeters instead of a couple of inches. And I just think they're a good, they're a nice fit. I like the way they come up around the waist. There's a lot of give in them, which I like, but then they're still kind of tight. They don't look like that stretchy kind of jegging material. They sort of look like proper denim, but they've still got that bit of give. So yeah, I really like these. I'll definitely buy more under the stories denim. This is my first pair, but so far, so good. So the third thing on my list was a big, furry faux fur coat and there are a couple that I had in mind when I put this on the list and one of them was a Cezanne navy big fluffy coat. I saw it online, I was like yep yeah, that looks gorgeous, the colour of it looked beautiful, I ordered it and unfortunately it just wasn't right for me. The quality was great, it felt so soft, I couldn't stop stroking it, however the sleeves were like a little bit short, I hate when they do that on coats because I'm someone, I like to be warm, I've got really quite long arms and it came kind of up to here and I just feel like leaving that part of your arm 
bare when you're wearing such a kind of wintry coat is just a bit silly that wasn't going to work for me so you can see me try it on here but unfortunately it went back it just it just wasn't right below for you because I think it was a beautiful jacket. Everything here will be linked down below including a blog post that I did recently which has like the Black Friday deals because I know that when this goes up it's going to be Sunday and there's going to be a few of them still running. I know that Suzanne unfortunately didn't have anything but they have got their winter picks out on their website now. And other stories have a very small range but there's kind of like good deals on them and there's good things in there. I've picked out my favourite bits that is in that blog post. And so after I sent the Suzanne one back, I went on to ASOS. ASOS currently have 20% off with the code, I think it's WIN20 this weekend, which is great. And I ordered this, and I have to say, I love it, but again, it was just one of those things that the silhouette just didn't fit right. I just think I'm used to like a sleeker, kind of closer to the body silhouette, and I just feel a bit bulky in these like big, fluffy jackets. But this one was so cool, it was leopard print. I saw Hannah Gale wearing it. She looked awesome in it. I was like, yes, I'm gonna order that. Ordered it, it just, it just wasn't right, but I did, I did love it. I kind of sent this one back with a bit of a heavy heart. You know when you're like, I wanted to love this so much, but you can just see the fit just isn't, isn't there for me, but I'll link it down below because I think this is one of the best faux fur leopard print coats that I've seen. I just, I just need one that's a little bit more fitted. If anyone has any recommendations, I am so all ears. So for me, I think I've just come to the conclusion that every winter I'm gonna want a fluffy coat, I'm gonna buy fluffy coats, I'm gonna return them because I just don't like them on me. So I don't really know where I'm sitting with that one. I'm just currently kind of sitting it out. I feel like I need to go in store instead of sitting on my ass and ordering everything to me. I need to physically try them on and just look for one that is a little bit thinner but still has that bit of fluff to it. And another category where a similar thing happened were leather trousers. I asked for your guys' recommendations. You sent me loads and there was loads that I'd already seen. And other stories have a good pair. Mango have a good pair. All Saints have a good pair, ASOS Premium have some in at the moment, and I kind of looked around and I'm still hung up on these frame ones that cost an absolute fortune, so I ordered the and of the stories ones in the end, I thought these are the ones that look kind of exactly what I wanted, I said I wanted leather trousers that weren't leggings, that were like proper proper trousers, I ordered them, Lizzie Hadfield was like, yep yeah, girl you need these, these are the ones, I ordered them and I just, I could barely fit them over my thigh. I ordered, I think the mid, like the mid size they do and then the one up and both of them, I mean the mid size was like not gonna happen, the one above I couldn't even get over like one knee. They were so lovely, the quality of them was just absolutely gorgeous but again, it cost a fortune so I was like waiting for that return to come in like ah. So I couldn't really be bothered with the faff of sending them back, exchanging them for another size and I just felt like they were a little bit too wide. They were like a little bit too straight leg, a little bit too flappy. I wanted something a little bit more slim fit than that. So again, I just haven't found the perfect ones. They were a really nice pair on Mango, but they are always out of stock, which is annoying because Mango have 30% off right now. One thing I did pick up, I went to Topshop. I actually did quite a lot of work with Topshop, which is really cool. I was picking up some bits for the next blog post I'm going to do with them, and I found these, and I was like, you know what? Me and leather trousers, I'm just going to hold out for the right pair because they're very expensive. I'm just going to like sit, wait, see what comes around because I'm sure I will find the perfect pair in the end. But until then, I will give this a go. This isn't real leather, it's from Topshop, but it's just like a pleather mini skirt. I tried on an A-line skirt in there and it just felt, again, the silhouette just wasn't right. I thought these would be cool with some like thick tights underneath boots and then like a really big chunky knit. In fact, I'm going out today, I think this is what I might wear today. And it's just a little bit different from wearing denim on the bottom all the time. And also handy to wear for like evenings out. You know me, I haven't really got much occasion wearing my wardrobe. So I thought this would be a nice option to wear out in the evenings as well. So it turns out that I'm not just an idiot who deletes files that I need on my memory card. I also throw away all my tights because I didn't own any dresses or skirts and therefore need tights. So now I need to go out and buy tights. Um, so I won't be wearing this out today like I had planned. Um, but I think with some tights underneath and some boots, 
this would be a very cute outfit. Let me put on some shoes for you so this does look more like an outfit. How cute would that look with tights? Oh, damn it, I need to go buy some tights, like, now. Um, just a heads up, I bought this in a size 10. I would normally be a size 12 in Topshop bottoms because I find they can be a little bit tight around the top, but this actually has quite a lot of give in it, which is nice, it's not too tight, but yeah. Oh, I love this. This is a very nice kind of, when you need to look a little bit fancier and you don't want to wear denim all the time. The final category was perhaps the easiest one to get right. You guys will know that I'm having a moment with chunky knits. I have three of them and I basically just like wear them on repeat because they are so snuggly, they are so warm. I can layer them up with things underneath and sometimes not even have to wear a coat, which is so nice. And I saw this one on And Other Stories and I was like, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I want. And it's not cashmere or wool or anything like that so it's very easy to wash which I liked but it still is like a nice feel it's really soft it doesn't it's not a complete like fluff grabber you know sometimes things are real fluff grabbers this isn't too like that there's like a little tiny bit there but that's it no crazy amount of lint rolling involved so it's from under the stories I think it's called their chunky roll neck or something like that they have it in black they also have it in red which looks really nice it is just a big massive blanket with like a roll neck on top it's huge i get caught on doorknobs when i wear this because it's so big it like catches on things when i go past but i love how big and snuggly it is this will be amazing for travel like i can imagine just snuggling up on like a train or a plane or something in this you're going to be nice and warm it's going to keep you nice and warm in the winter into spring you can wear it as more of a loungewear piece you can dress it up with like the leather skirt put some nice boots with it I think it's a really multifunctional piece and it's a good price, it's good quality. You could size down if you wanted it to be a little bit snugglier, but I really do like that oversized fit. I have a feeling this is a small. Yeah, it's a small, but I love the fit of this. I just think, oh, it just makes me warm even thinking about it. So this is the world's coziest jumper, say hello. It is just, oh, it's so cozy. I love the roll neck on it. It's like a little bit messy, but you can roll it all the way up. You can have it more of like a turtleneck style, more kind of cow neck if you pull it down. It's just very versatile. And I love it when you put your hair into it and you sort of just have your hair hanging out the top. Oh, absolutely love it. I would be very tempted to pick this up in red if I will colour often. <laughs> so that's my winter capsule wardrobe haul. Some things really worked out, some things really didn't. The fluffy furry jacket thing, I think I have to realise that's just not for me. But the leather trouser thing, I'm just sitting tight for the moment, I'm sure something will come up. But thank you so much for watching. I'll make sure I link that Black Friday post down below because I know there's loads of deals that are like continuing on through the weekend. I've also got a blog post today on four things to add to your winter capsule wardrobe to like spice it up a bit. And there's also going to be like a homeware post tomorrow on my blog, which I'm so excited about. That one took me a long time to put together, but it was really fun to do. So definitely check those out. Sign up to my newsletter. Yep, that's coming out next Monday. So I will see you then on Wednesday with a brand new video. Bye.